The website mdlandrec.net provides free online access to Maryland's land records from modern land records back to the earliest surviving land records for each county's land office. Many of our researchers ask how to search for historical land records on MD Landrec. You may already be familiar with the individual search, or you can type in a name to search for land record transactions. However, this only goes back as far as what has been keyed into that county's modern electronic database. MD Landrec always states how far back that goes for each county, and it is often a different date depending on the county. For example, Anne Arundel County's modern individual search goes back to July 1967. And Baltimore City goes back to July 1972. But you can go back even farther than these modern databases by clicking on the active indices link on the left side of the page for any of the counties. As an example, let's search for Henry Campbell in Anne Arundel County in the late 1800s. We'll click on the active indices. These historical indexes are not text searchable, but instead are browsable scans of the indexes by last name, more like a books index. Let's click on the drop down. We're looking for an individual, Henry Campbell. So we'll ignore the corporation indexes and then just check out the date ranges. Many indexes will say grantor, meaning seller, and grantee meaning buyer. So let's click on the grantee index starting in 1839. Unlike with the more modern search, you cannot type in a name. Instead, we need to browse this like a books index. We're searching for Campbell. So we'll click on CA to CN for Campbell. This brings up the scans of the index to begin browsing. The index shown here is a type of index you will often see in these historical land record volumes, where it lists the index page for common last names. If it was a less common last name, then we can find where it falls by looking for the first few letters of the last name on the right side of the page. Fortunately, Campbell is a common last name and is on page 25. We will type that into the Jump to New page on the right. This brings us to the list of everyone with the last name of Campbell. When you find a book and page that you are interested in, click on the Jump to New volume on the yellow toolbar at the top of the page, and you can type it in to view the actual land record from home.